Hello, my name is Ron Sweeney from Club Packs Western Michigan, and I'm here to show you how easy it is to write a .NET application to talk to a Mirth Soap listener. Um, this simple demonstration will show you how to write an application that can send a message via Soap over HTTP and have that message end up in your email box. So, emphasis on this screencast is how uh, simple and quick it is, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. First, I'm going to start with uh, Mirth Administrator. And I'm going to want to build a channel, a particular channel that I want to write. I'm going to call that Mirth Soap. My source for the channel is going to be a soap listener. I'm going to listen on address 10.101.0.3, which is my IP address. I'm going to name the service name Mirth, which is the default. And my method is string accept message, and it will accept a message. My destination, as I said earlier, will be an email sender. I will send this to my my mail server. I'll send this to my Gmail account. And I will make this particular message the subject of Earth screencast and in the body I want to just send the raw data of the message. I will validate my form. Looks like everything checked out and it looks like my channel is complete. So I am listening on HTTP for SOAP messages and I am sending them via email to my email box with the credentials that I supplied in the SMTP server host. So I'm going to go back to my channels. I'm going to go ahead and deploy them and I'm up and running. So my dashboard will give me some stats up here. So now it's time to quickly code a C-sharp application that will talk to that particular SOAP listener. I'll go ahead and create a project. We'll call it Mirth SOAP, oops, SOAP Screencast. As you see, I've got a form here. On the form, I'm going to want to put a couple of things. I'm going to want to put a text box. And I'm going to want to put a button. I want to change the properties of my text box to be multi line. So it accepts, so you can see it a little bit better. Center it. This isn't going to be too beautiful, but you'll get the general idea of what I'm trying to do here. I'll put a little label on the button. Uh, send to Mirth. Okay, so I have a basic form. Now I'm going to let .NET do a little bit of the magic here. I'm going to go to my solution. And I'm going to create a web reference. Now my web reference is going to be at the URL that was specified in Mirth. You can see the method here is accept message. I'm going to call that web reference name Mirth. I'm going to add it to my project. So there's my web reference that .NET had um, built for me. I'm going to go ahead and put an action in. And I'm going to go ahead and initialize an object. I have to initialize my object. And my object is WS. I'm going to have it accept the message. My arguments to it should be a string. And they're going to be text box one dot text. Whatever I put in the text box, I'll be sending to the Mirth Soap listener. So if everything went right, I can go ahead and run this. And it appears it did. So I have my basic application sitting here. I'm going to grab an HL7 message. I'm going to go ahead and type this, put that into my form. I'm going to send it to Mirth. To prove that it went, here is a my Gmail account where I sent it. And there is the message coming from the SOAP listener. So, in a little over four minutes, I was able to set up a SOAP listener and set up a .NET application to send messages to that particular SOAP listener. So, uh, pretty cool. Go check out Mirth and download it. It's getting better by the minute. So, thanks.